Hi, and thank you so much for purchasing a 4th Street Creative template. This is the video walkthrough for the distillery posts. And when you get your link, you'll be directed to a page that looks like this. You hit use template, and this will bring you into your own Canva account. And the very first thing you want to do is go over to file and make a copy. And the reason why you want to do that is because you might make a few mistakes, make a few left turns. You might not remember how this looked like when you first started and then you always have the master available for you to just fall back on in case you need to start from scratch and uh, of course you can always download it again from Etsy but that's just a, a whole process and why not just keep it simple in Canva and that's how you do it so every time you start over just make sure to go to file and make a copy and that will ensure that you always have a master copy available for you and you can work with the original uh, once you've done that, you head over to Uploads and you upload an image or video. This is where you're going to find your own listing property photos and upload them into Canva. And then it'll look like this. And you start, you just go ahead and start changing the photos and all the information. So let's go ahead and start that. So I'm going to change it to this one. What I've done is I've grabbed the photo, hovered it over the image box, and it's popped it into place for me. If you're not happy with the way that it's sitting in the image box, then you just uh, double click on it and you'll be allowed to move it as much as the photo allows. So let me choose another photo to see if I can show you how you can do that. Yeah, so it, once you double click you see that there's this grayed out area and that's just the, showing you the photo, the full photo. So you can just move it around the box however it looks good. I'm not happy with that image so I'm going to go back and do this one. That looks great, and I'm going to leave that exactly as it is. I'm going to change all the property information to be my own, obviously. And if you're not happy with the font, you can always highlight the font, head over to the font box, and change it. You can change it to your brand font or any font that you'd like. Um, we have made sure that these fonts are complementary, meaning that this font works with this font. So um, this is six caps, and this is Playfair, dis uh, Playfair Display and they work really well together. So if you're happy with the way that they look, um, I would recommend not messing around with the font too much because sometimes when you try to pair font, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, real estate company, obviously you'll put your own real estate company name or your brand name there. And, uh, or if you would like, you can upload your um, logo and put this here as well. So let me show you what that would look like. So I'm just going to click once on the logo and I'm going to move it to this area here and that's how that would look. Now you want to make sure that the logo that you upload has a transparent background and you also want to make sure that the logo um, is the darker version of your logo. And if you'd like some tutorials on how to change the color of your logo or to remove the background, we have that in our resource library at 4thstreetcreative.com forward slash tutorials. You can find it in there. Um, once you're happy with that, you can, yeah, okay. you can change this to just sold, you can change this to exclude, you can change this to the name of the property and delete this if you want. We've also included this area icon and the reason why you've done that is if you go over to elements and you go to location pin, and you make sure that the free filter is on because some people only have a free account. If you have a free account, this is what the options are. Um, and we weren't happy with the free option. So we're always designing for free accounts. And if we don't see that there is a icon here that is that we like, then we'll create our own and upload that. So these two pins, we've created one beige and one brown. They are available in your zip file folder. And all you're going to have to do is upload them into your own Canva photo folder here. And then they'll look like, there they are. They'll look like these guys here. So if that's optional, you can always delete this. Or you can go over to Elements and choose the one that you like. If you do have a pro account, you have far more options available to you. And you might like one of the ones that are here as well. Um, and then you just go about changing all the information on all the slides. So Rustic Charm can change to Open House, can change to anything that you'd like. Uh, there is one thing to note. Don't know if it's on any of these slides. No. Okay. 
So if I, I'm just going to show you an example here. So I've created this open house slide, but if I take this photo and pop it in, it's really hard. I'm just trying to make it so that my feet are always going to be in it. So if I said open house with this photo here, it's very difficult to read this. So you have two options here. You can either highlight the text and change it to the darker color, which works perfectly. It's It works really, really well. Or, let me just go back, or you can head over to Elements, make sure none of these are selected, click this square box, make sure it's covering the entire image. So just drag the corners out, change the color to the dark color, head over to the transparency button, and I like to hover it around 50 to start. Okay, and now you can see it's covering the open house. So you want to go to position backward, and that will reveal the text. And this allows you to still have the photo that you choose to have because some photos are very white and you, you would need to change the text color and even then it won't work. Um, so this is a great trick. So you can still see the photo. And if you're not happy because you're like, well, I can't see enough of the photo, then you can always play with the transparency. So you can bring the transparency right down to maybe even 15 and this is still legible. Whereas if I don't have this, if I just remove that filter, do you see how difficult it is to read open house or even the distillery road underneath it? But once I add that slight overlay, that, that 15 <laughs> overlay over the photo, it just makes all of this writing pop. So this is a great trick. If you're ever having trouble reading the text over a photo, this is something that you're going to want to play around with for sure. Um, everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Any box that you see can be changed. So if you don't like the colors, you head over to the color panel and this is where you change it. Um, photo colors are here so it takes the colors from the photos. You can choose to do it that way or you can go up here and actually put in the hex code for your own brand colors and change it that way. Um, anything can be changed. These are this, all of this. You can remove this completely and add another box if you'd like. So if you don't want to tell people about this, uh, you don't want to put all these point form notes here, you can just delete all of this. And I'm going to highlight this box, right click my mouse, copy, right click my mouse, paste. So now I have two photos instead of one. And I will That's how you just you change these to suit your needs so easily. Um, I love how easy Canva is. It's, it's amazing. Okay, and once you're happy with the way everything looks, you go to download. Make sure the PNG is selected. Hit download. And this will save it into a zip folder, a zip file. You unzip the file and you send yourself all those images the way that you normally would. Either AirDrop, Google Drive, you, your own email address or uh, Dropbox. And then once they're on your phone, you are ready to post to Instagram. You can also use these for LinkedIn, for Facebook, for Pinterest. These work cross-platform. And another little trick that you can use these for are e-blasts. E so if you're sending it to your email list um, and you want nice visuals to include in your email, this is a great way to multi-purpose the content. So you pay once for these, you use them again and again, but you can also multi-purpose how you're using them. So it's not just Instagram. You can use it for a lot of different things. Uh, you can even create a slideshow if you'd like and uh, virtually walk people through the property that way. And that's it. I hope that this was helpful. And if you have any more questions or need any more help, you can head over to fourthstreetcreative.com forward slash tutorials. We have walkthroughs, resources, tips and tricks, um, articles. And if you don't see what you're looking for, please send us an email at hello at fourthstreetcreative.com and we will be sure to create a video walkthrough with whatever it is that you're looking for. Happy creating!